Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I thought I would do a sit down video just because I have been doing vlogs well, I've been sort of doing daily vlogs every single day and then putting them together and making a video from it. But I thought I should definitely do a sit down one and have a catch up. Today I thought I would do like a girl talk life update video. But yeah, I just thought I'd sit down, chat to you guys for God knows how long and basically do a two in one that's because i wanted to do a life update video but then i also wanted to do a girl talk video so i was like why don't we just do it both in one and maybe i can incorporate my life with the girl talk who knows i don't know whether this is going to work or not but anyway let's get into the video the first question is, is when do you plan on moving out? Okay, I get this question actually quite often, um, just because lots of people that I know in this industry obviously don't live with their parents. And to be honest, I'm trying to think of someone that I actually do. I, I know a few, like I know a few. But with me, I was actually one of the youngest people to go on Love Island that year. I'm slightly younger than Liberty, but then I think there was young people in Casa Amor. But anyway, I was one of the youngest people. So obviously, for me, living at home was like pretty normal. To be honest, it doesn't actually matter what your timeline is in your life, but I felt really comfortable living at home. And when I came back, Everyone was obviously moving out and doing what they want to do, but I actually, so my brother recently actually moved out before I went on Love Island. So when I came back, it was just me and my mum. And I feel like there's no real rush to move out of my house purely because it is literally just me and my mum. Obviously my mum doesn't have a partner, so it's just me and my mum. And my mum's literally like one of my best friends. And I am saving for a mortgage, but I think for me to pay rent somewhere else would just be a waste of money just because like I'm absolutely fine living here. I'm actually redoing my whole, whoa, I thought my phone was gonna fall. I'm actually redoing my whole bedroom and I'm getting a walk-in wardrobe upstairs. So I'm gonna move one of, I'm gonna change one of my brother's old rooms to a walk-in wardrobe. But yeah, it's so chill living here. My mum is so relaxed. I'm so lucky to have that. If anything, it's actually a blessing that I actually get to live with her for a bit longer just because, well, yeah, she's just the best. And yeah, she helps me every single day with work and just everything in general. So I'm actually really happy to be living here. I think I'll probably move out realistically when I'm like 24, 25 and I can buy a mortgage buy a mortgage buy a house with a mortgage and yeah but I'm to be honest I, it won't be next year I don't think it won't be when I'm 23 just because I'd rather keep saving for the mortgage and yeah and maybe when I'm 24 maybe the year after who knows I actually do look at houses here and then on my move but there's no real rush I could buy to rent now but I'm like mm, do I want to do I just want to buy my house first then buy to rent properties i don't know i don't know what's going on i don't know literally i have no idea but what i do know is that i've got no plans to move out anytime soon next question would you get any tattoos okay um would i get any tattoos i get tempted to get tattoos all the time obviously you guys might know i have no tattoos at all i wasn't interested in getting tattoos when i was younger so i just never did would i get them now i really like small tattoos like fine line really small tattoos so possibly i might get like I don't know, the thought of having like a really small tattoo is really cute. So, or like here, Millie's got really cute like red ones that are really cute there. And we, we do sometimes talk about getting like a Naughty Trio tattoo. Like we all get like a tattoo, but obviously it's going to be like really small. So yeah, I don't know. I'm not like ruling it out, but I am the most indecisive person as well. So getting a tattoo and keeping it on me for the rest of my life freaks me out because what if I literally don't like it? But then... You can get laser tattoo removal, but apparently that's really painful. I don't know. 
I don't know. I feel like a lot of these questions, I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I always thought if I ever got married, people say don't do that. So I don't know, don't take my advice. And I always thought when I get married, I might get like a little initial, I don't know, you see like really cute matching tattoos and they are really cute, but I don't know. You just basically putting out to the university you're gonna break up, not sure. Who knows, watch this face, you said I might come back with a sleeve. Joking, I probably definitely won't do that. Someone said, because obviously I said girl talk as well. Someone said, not feeling confident in yourself and making yourself feel that like you can't be loved. That is so sad that someone would feel like that. I feel like we've all been like that though. And we've all had our ups and downs. I don't know. I know I definitely have. And everyone, well, most people I know has felt not confident at times. And it's just the way of life. Like you have waves of not well i have waves of not feeling confident and then feeling confident but yeah i know when like if a relationship doesn't work out or blah 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 your confidence can literally drop but it's to know to pick that back up and not stay down there for too long because there's going to be someone out there for you um there's literally like i think there's actually i was going to say seven billion but i feel like there might be eight billion people now in the world and there will be someone, you know what I sound like? I sound like that TikTok sound, where it's like, someone's gonna climb up a man, what is it? Oh, what is it? I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. But yeah, it is so true, that TikTok sound. It's literally like, if you didn't work out with someone, don't put yourself down and don't let your confidence drop. I always think as well, if you feel that like you can't be loved, it's probably because you don't love yourself, which goes back to obviously confidence. And I feel like, if you feel like that, you need to focus on yourself because before anyone loves you and before you get in a relationship, you should love yourself. I think if you feel that down, get up, do stuff that makes you happy, work out, realise that you don't actually need any boy or girl's love to feel confident. You shouldn't rely your confidence on other people and I know that's so hard to be told but you you don't you should rely on yourself for your confidence it's a sticky one isn't it i feel like when something doesn't go right and you feel like your confidence is dropped obviously it's the most awful thing ever but there is like the end of the tunnel and it won't last forever there is always a silver lining to the cloud no i don't know you know what i'm trying to say do you ever go to the gym or work out? Um, okay, I've answered this one quite a lot of times, I think, in the previous videos. At the moment, no, and I'm not ashamed to admit it. I can't actually remember the last time I properly worked out, maybe a couple of weeks ago. I'm finding it really hard to get back in the swing of things. It's that time of year where it's getting colder. I am, however, going, hopefully, to Thailand next month. So, I sort of do want to be in good shape, but I'm like... It's Monday tomorrow, so I told myself I'm going to go on a run because today is Sunday and it was the uh, London Marathon. So watching everyone run on the TV has made me think maybe I should get out of bed and actually become a bit more active. Do you know what I mean? My weight has been fluctuating so much, but I've always been like that. I seem to be one of those people that lose weight very quickly, but also put on weight very quickly. So it's trying to find that balance, which is really hard. So I'm going to try next week to eat more healthy and yeah, focus on my health. But I feel like I say this, sorry about this vibrating. I feel like I say this all the time. So who knows? But no, at the moment I don't work out or go to the gym but i have signed up oh my god yeah i've signed up for a gym i've signed up for my local it's like this um country club so i know there's a long waiting list for it so fingers crossed i hear back from them soon but really excited about that and i feel like that will make me wake up in the morning go to this really nice country club place work out you know i think that's what i need experience advice for dating apps i touched on this before in my assumptions video with my mum or was it assumptions i don't know what it was a video of my mum a couple a few weeks ago and i actually have been on dating apps before i've been on hinge back in the day i went on one day and it was just a fail but obviously i know that there are so many people where it works and they're together for years and they get married so honestly i have no idea the last time i was on a dating app was 
ages ago. Whenever I've become single recently, I haven't actually gone on dating apps. I just, I don't know, I just feel like I haven't. But it's, it's a weird one because obviously some people don't want to go on them and they don't feel like it will work and other people they've gone on them and it's really worked. So, I mean, the best advice for me for dating apps is obviously post current pictures of yourself and be honest with people. Because obviously it's a bit scary if you go on a date and it, they look completely different. So, I mean, that's the advice if you were ever going to go on a dating app is post current pictures and just be really honest. And then when you meet them, it's a realistic person that you think and it's not like a catfish. How not to compare yourself to other girls? Okay, that is a really hard one. But can I just quickly say that Instagram is so fake. It is literally so fake i literally have met so many people now in this instagram world and i can tell you it is so fake not saying that they're fake i'm just saying we're all fake it's just a fake place we post the best parts of our day we post the best pictures of ourselves we take about well i take about hundreds not hundreds but i take quite a few pictures and i choose the best one so you're comparing yourself I tell myself this as well, you're, you're literally comparing yourself to someone, the best parts of someone, but you don't know what they do day in, day out, you don't know the stuff they don't post, even if someone seems to post a lot about their day, they don't post everything. It's a thing where you get to pick and choose what you post and how you portray yourself. So, I think... Well, you didn't say, I guess you didn't say compare on social media. Or did you? I can't actually remember. Hold on. Okay, um, just compare to other girls. Well, if it's other girls that you don't know and you're looking at their social media, that is my advice. It's hard, it's, it's hard to say that and obviously you think, but like how, if you're just looking at a pretty girl, there's so much more to her that you don't know. Everyone's going through their own life problems and stuff and I feel like to compare just remember actually this is good advice just remember someone is looking at your Instagram account and thinking oh my god like she's stunning like wow whereas you're also looking at other people being like oh my god like wow she's stunning and compare it. everyone compares everyone and unfortunately that is the life that we live in but don't let it get to you because honestly we're all different and we're all amazing in our own way and there's literally no reason to compare because everyone is different we've all got our own dna and we all look different and, you know don't compare i know that's easy but hopefully that makes you feel better we've only got one skin so we may as well start loving it favorite holiday destination random one but I quite like it because I love my holidays. Right, a lot of you probably would think Ibiza, but to be honest, I'm going so off Ibiza. I have been to that place way too much this year. It's actually sort of put me off, which is really sad because I do love Ibiza and I probably will go next year, but I went way too much this year and I just completely overdid it. I'm really excited to hopefully go to Thailand next, year, next month. So that will be fun. Favorite holiday, I love skiing. Like I actually love skiing. I think it's beautiful i think it's so much fun i think apre ski is a vibe i think clothes are fun i love winter i love autumn so skiing's right up my street that's one of my favorites and where else i love greece i do love greece we normally go to corfu with my family that's always such a fun holiday and obviously i love the caribbean as well i just had a look over there because there was a picture of me this baby in the beach in the caribbean and I love the Caribbean, I love St. Lucia, I love Barbados, I love Bermuda, I love the Maldives. To be honest, I'm lucky because obviously I was cabin crew, so I've, I've seen a lot of places. And I do just love everywhere. I love travelling the world. And I also love really strange, like, not strange, but really, like, cities where you just wouldn't think to travel to. I really want to start going on random city breaks. My brother and his girlfriend have just been to a city, what was it? Vancouver and you just wouldn't think to go there but they look like they had the best time and I just really want to start going to cities where I just wouldn't normally think of going. Chloe Burrows, how much do you love me out of a hundred? 
Zubal. Joking. Love you. How is the Naughty Trio? Amazing. It was actually Chloe's birthday the other day and we went to that place in STK Westminster where you can rent this room out and it's also got a bowling alley and it's so much fun. I would really highly recommend if you guys obviously are going to have to drink and you've got a group of what 10 to 25 people and you can all pay each you can like divide the price i can't actually remember how much it is and you've got a bowling alley and it's like a little party room at the back of the westminster sck and it was so much fun i actually vlogged it as well so that will be in a vlog wherever that vlog is yeah so they're really really good i'm actually hopefully going to thailand with well it was supposed to be the naughty trio it was supposed to be chloe and mills but chloe actually has work commitments to do which obviously we are not stopping her she needs to work away and yeah obviously i'm really proud of her so yeah i think it's just going to be me and mills going to thailand do you think heartbreak is in life is necessary for you to sort of upgrade in life i don't know i don't think it's necessary to upgrade but obviously when you're going through heartbreak you sort of do upgrade in life because when you're in a relationship a lot of your time and effort is with that person you spend a lot of time with that person without actually realizing and a lot of effort goes into that person it's like a big thing being in a relationship is a big commitment so obviously when they go when you break up you realize you've got so much time to concentrate on yourself so you don't it's not necessary to upgrade in life but you do really well it's not really upgrade but you just start obviously for girls you actually when you break up you're actually really low you slowly feel better um and with that like you you've got more energy and time on yourself so lots of girls get their hair done they start working out because they've got more time and people say like the breakup glow so it's not that you're really like upgrading in life, you're just concentrating more on yourself, which probably is much needed in that time when you're so upset. And it's just, I don't know, it's just what many girls do after breakups. They just, they don't even upgrade themselves because they're always, always a queen. No, but seriously, you're not really upgrading yourself, you're just concentrating on yourself more to make yourself feel better. So I don't know whether I answered that question, but that's what I think. So guys, that was my life update and girl talk video all complete, all complete, all done. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you all for watching and supporting me as always. Make sure to like if you like this sort of sit down chatty video and also comment down below what you'd like to see from me. And obviously make sure to subscribe because it's completely free and it means that you get a notification why am I speaking like that? <laughs> you get a notification when I post. But yeah, this was just a really short chatty video. And love you guys all so much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.